mega quake? Are we talking about something that might literally crack the earth apart? What? No, no, calm down. This isn't really another earthquake prophecy. It's only little me. When I did my video last month on the spurious 188-day earthquake cycle, you know, the one that conveniently left out dozens of earthquakes that didn't fit, I asked any statisticians out there if they could cherry-pick other patterns among the hundreds of randomly generated numbers that make up the intervals between earthquakes. And two of you stepped up to the mark. My thanks to Oblivion Calling, who polished up my average earthquake interval and says it's 17.5 days, not 19, with a standard deviation of 18.7, and Princip Hoffnung, who looked at all the time intervals between major quakes and found this 242-day cycle. Now, if any of the earthquake prophets had got hold of it, I'm sure they would have latched onto it, because as my fake promotion rightly says, it's been going on for a lot longer than the 188-day cycle, and it has more earthquakes in it. So what do all these magical cycle believers say now? We all die. I thank God for this life. See you in heaven. No, it's okay. It's not real. I'm trying to show you that if you have hundreds of randomly generated numbers, then by the law of averages you're obviously going to get lots of four chain numbers that are the same, and a few five or six chain numbers that are the same. I just heard this for the first time and I think you're definitely right. No, the weather no, has been no, this isn't very real. strange lately. And you know how it talks about how we'll get to the point where you won't even know what season it is with the change in the weather? I could see it hitting the Madrid fault line. No. I hope not, but I always remember the work that was done on the dam near the line. No, I'm not So, making... has anyone ever had dreams of the coming? I have multiple times and it was so realistic I thought I was in heaven. Look, I'm not trying to prophesy something here. I'm trying to show you that this is rubbish. Stop looking at me as if I'm some kind of a messiah of the mega quakes. Tell them, Mum. He's not the messiah. He's a very naughty boy. That's right. You don't have to follow me in this fictitious 242-day cycle. You don't have to follow anyone just because he finds a pattern that's nothing more than a statistical exercise. You've got to learn to think for yourselves. You're all individuals. Yeah. No, I mean it. This isn't a Monty Python sketch. You're all different. Yes, we are all different. I'm not. Look, all of you, just find some randomly generated numbers and do the maths yourselves. Oh, I've had a lot of these mathematically challenged followers coming onto the comments forum of my video, insisting that I must somehow be wrong, but they can't figure out why. You look a little silly now. The 188-day cycle predicted a major quake, March 19th to 22nd, and I'm sure the earthquake in Mexico had nothing to do with it. No, because as I showed in my video, large earthquakes happen on average every 19 days, or as Oblivion Calling corrects me, about every 18 days. If you don't believe me, work it out for yourselves. So not only does this show there is no 188-day or 242-day cycle, unless you ignore most earthquakes, I said that because they happen so frequently, there's a very good chance there'd be an earthquake during that three-day spread. And there was. What are the odds? Well, obviously 1 in 18 divided by 3, or about 1 in 6. Getting an earthquake on one of those three days was like rolling a die and betting on a 6. It's not rocket science as this professor of diceography will show. You want to find a corner like this, what you're going to essentially do is you're going to roll the dice, but you got to do this to make sure you mix up the dice or it's cheating. You're going to mix it up real good like this. You're going to have to bend down like this. Find the corner, shake that die really good like this, and then roll that dough. What do I got? I got one. And six. Oh, John, dog, I win. The only ones who look silly are those who wet their pants thinking they'd witness something mysterious just because a six came up. Because the odds are so good, coming up with a sequence of several earthquakes is remarkably easy. Let's take any two big earthquakes as our starting point. The time in between is 136 days. So what are the chances of getting another earthquake 136 days later? One in six, of course and the chances of getting two more earthquakes that time interval apart are 1 in 36. The chances of getting three more earthquakes, 1 in 216. But of course you can go in either direction and halve the odds, or split the time interval up and decrease them even more. Even if the odds are pretty long, remember there are hundreds of time intervals over the period we're looking at, so the odds of finding one or two strings of five equally separated earthquakes are extremely good. In fact, I'd bet on it. 
I hate it when people are so close-minded. Well, I'd say closing your mind means only looking at the evidence that fits your pet theory. You'd be surprised at what you find if you open your mind and look at all the evidence. Lucas 9-11, that's Wayne Young, did not make money on the DVD. He posted them free. Videos are free. Yeah, my mistake. It's probably my inability to read that led me to believe his website said the videos were $9.99 plus $1.99 US shipping. Oh, well, hang on, it did. And here's a recurring theme from Wayne himself. If I ever do want to take the time to debunk your video, I assure you, I'll watch it. I was debunking your premise that there's a 188-day earthquake cycle. If there's no cycle, then whatever you want to put in the video that might be the cause of it is completely irrelevant. You should let people make up their own minds. We're not idiots. No, I'm not saying you're not allowed to make up your own minds. You can make up your own mind that the chances of rolling a six are one in a thousand. But that doesn't change the mathematics. The odds still cling stubbornly to one in six, whatever your mind has decided. There's nothing wrong with checking what Wayne Young has told you to see if he's correct, or checking what I've said to see if I'm right. Nothing wrong with opening a maths textbook or taking an evening course in statistics before you start latching onto what someone's told you and treating it as the gospel truth. You gotta know how to count. You win.